The next pattern that we're going to go into is going to, at first glance, look like a lariat. And it is, except for the fact that we're adding in a syncopated turn for the lady. The turn footwork is, for the lady, one and, two and, three, five. So she's doing an extra turn in the same count that she was normally doing just, uh, what, a turn and a half? One and, two and, three, five. Now you notice that if we were doing the basic count, Risa would, from this alignment, be going one, two. One alignment, three, five. Two, and if she's using the spiral, two and a half. When we do the syncopated turn, the lady has got more footwork, more steps, and that allows her to get an extra turn in. She's also stepping much quicker. So instead of one, two, three, five, she's putting syncopated counts, extra steps between the numbers to be one and, two and, three, five. Man's keeping basic footwork here but we'll go slow and I'll count a basic footwork and you'll see that Risa has got more steps than what I'm counting and what I'm doing. One, two, three, five. So for every count that I gave, Risa was doing two steps. Going back the other direction. One, two, three, five, and then the back end, it starts up to be very similar to a normal lariat. Again, I've done the hand change behind the back. I'm facing her. I'm going to go one and two and three, five. What's going to happen when the lady starts syncopating her turns is that because she's got more steps, she's going to be able to travel more. She's going to be more comfortable with progressing. And she's going to end up outrunning the man. So the man's either going to have to take bigger steps to keep up, or the lady's going to have to make her pivot smaller. And the man can ask, by either pushing, and we've talked about this in earlier tapes, the man can either give an elliptical turn, which is asking the lady to travel more, or can give a little bit smaller circle over the head, which asks the lady to make her steps much smaller. And still progressing, of course, because it's a progressive dance. Coming at the camera one more time. One and two and three, five. Now you notice, guys, that even though you're keeping basic footwork, you're having to move your hand much quicker than you ever had before. You're going to hear guys complaining, oh, I have to move my hand so fast. Well, you're not the one that's doing the work. All you have to do is lead her one and two in. Here's some tips to make that a little bit easier. Once you do the syncopated first bit, one and, whereas normally we would have gone one, two, you now notice that we've made a full rotation and only said one number. One and. We're not to the two yet. And when we do two and, based on before where we had one count per half rotation, now we have one count per full rotation. About to start. One and, two and, finishing up, man reaching in on the count of two. Looking for the hand, even though it won't have gotten there until three, five. So going this way, so that people can see that hand change. One and two and three. You notice that my hand was already up and ready on the count of two and. Very important. If the man waits until he hears the beat of three, he'll probably be too late. One and two and three, five. You can always psych the lady up by grabbing it a little bit too soon. Guys, remember, as you're trying to lead the lady's syncopated turns and continuing to do basic footwork yourself, you'll be very tempted to step too quickly. You'll be tempted to step one and, two and, three, five, and you want to keep practicing it and keep working at it. It probably won't take you very long to get it as long as you're diligent about practicing it a few times, but making sure that you are turning the woman faster than you are stepping. It's going to be very unique for the men because the men are going to have a tendency to do one and two and three, five, which isn't um, horrible, but it will make you look like you're kind of running along behind. And it's always important for the guy to look macho and masculine and cool as possible. So make sure he keeps basic footwork even though he's leading the lady, leading the lady quickly. Again, we're talking about the suggestion of remembering that one and, that the numbers will be away and the and counts will be closest to you. Numbers away, two. 
and counts closest to ant. Because this is a, a more advanced tape, one of the things that we're showing you is a syncopated turn, but we're only showing you in six counts. And what we like about this, even though some people like just cranking off the turns and keep it going and extending it longer, the nice thing about this is that it's actually in the basic count, so it becomes more noticeable. If you were to do a normal count, one, two, three, five, and then the next time through, you were to do a one, two, three, five, and the same amount of music, the lady has gotten in an extra turn. It's very eye-catching. When you extend it too long, it loses its appeal because it no longer looks like it was the same amount of time, of course, because you've extended it. Once you've finished this pattern and you've gotten to the 3-5, the man can go under again and keep going. One, two, normal lariat footwork, and then another syncopation. One, two, three, five. Man can go under again. One, two, three, five, and then a one and two and three, five. Going back the other direction, man's just finished his hand change. Three, five. Lean the lady syncopated. One, two, three, passed. Man under. One, two, three, five. Lady syncopated. One, two, three, five. I am keeping my basic footwork as the lady does her syncopation. One, two, three, five. One and two and three, five. Now, how many times do you ask? Can you do that? As many times as you can until a lady gets sick and throws up on your boots. <laughs> when she throws up on your boots or starts turning green, that's a sign that you should stop. <laughs>